All we wanted this year was a chance to go to the NCAA and participate. We knew we could play with those people. We wanted to show them what kind of team we had, what we were made of. There weren't any doubts around here. Our fans, friends throughout the Midwest knew what we were all about. Now we had to go out and win the whole country to our way. Usually thinking. when you become a head college basketball coach, it's because someone got let go or they moved on. But for Bill Hodges, it came when a friend, Bob King, became ill and could not return to the bench. Bill Hodges took the challenge head on with a team returning that many believe could make some noise in the Missouri Valley Conference. He made the noise go national. Led by National Player of the Year Larry Bird and future NBA player Carl Nix, his 78-79 team took the nation by storm, winning 33 straight before falling in the national title game. It was his let the players play style, sprinkled in with hard nose play, they got the Sycamores to. Well, he was on a team that went to the finals. You know, anytime that always helps. And uh, Hodges did well for us. And uh, I really don't know what happened to him after uh, I left because I so consumed with the pro game. I really didn't follow it that much. But uh, and I don't see him very often. But I hope he's doing well. And, and yes, he is deserving because putting a team like that together and um, spur of the moment, then have to coach that team. He did a pretty good job, yes. Hodges guided the Sycamores to the only regular season and tournament championship in the same year in school history. He went 67 and 48 during his time at Indiana State and was named Coach of the Year by the Valley, Associated Press, United Press International, and the Sporting News in 1979. Uh, uh, Bill Hodges, a lot of us wouldn't be here, including Larry, maybe. You know, I know he was totally responsible for me being here. Uh, and and uh, it's, it's, it's definitely deserved. Uh, I thought that he, as a young coach, he came in, he did a great job. He was able to relate. The most important thing that I like about what he did, he let you play your game. Bill Hodges is already a member of the Hall of Fame, inducted with his team in 2000. But the man who accepted the challenge left by his friend is now an individual member of the Indiana State Athletics Hall of Fame.